Good day. In this video tutorials, I'll be explaining to you how to use the inventory management system. It's um, an Excel based system that helps you to manage your inventory. It could be in a warehouse or in a simple store or in a manufacturing company or in a workshop where you use um, parts to fix and maintain other assets like very cool yeah we're explaining with uh, a simple marine industry and show you how to maintain your list of spare parts and other inventory items once you open the system you will see this um, page will pop up all you need to do is to log in with your assigned username and your assigned passcode so just go ahead and log in as the admin okay um, once I log in here I will see this page as the admin but we can also set other users and they will not see this particular uh, page when they log in. So first of all, I will explain how to um, use the system by going through the various worksheets that are available in this workbook. So let's go back to my user interface. Now you see um, a quite number of tabs here that will help you navigate through the system. First of all, I take us to setup. Setup is um, a direct entry sheet where you set up some basic items that will enable you to run the system. On my left here, we have the positions from admin manager to um, vehicles. Now, the need for to put vehicles vessels here um, is because you are trying to manage uh, the inventory to maintain some assets. So um, those assets are going to be having um, a worksheet that will manage them. So we'll try to put them here as um, positions or whatever names you want to call them. Now this um, table here, have the business name. Can just change this business name to what you want. You just go ahead and put um, drive deep marine. It automatically updates the rest of the worksheet then the nature of the business not so important now the important feature here is the month and the year the counting period just go here and select the counting period that you're working in now the month is also very important just come here and select the month that you're working in the reason for the month and the year is to enable you to calculate your average cost per month and your average cost per year now on this table we have the department that um, will be available on the system for example you may be issuing some stock item to um, HSC or to the vessels for maintenance or to the fleet or to the operations so any department that will be receiving stock or be issuing stock to the store department must be um, keyed into this um, worksheet just come on down here and key in let's say for example HR but before you do that, you need to enable enable the um, Excel to enter that particular information. So just come here and I'll key in HR. Automatically, it updates the table number nine. That's simple as it is. Here on this table, try to look at the different locations that are available. On this table, just look at. On this table, we are showing the various locations where we keep our stock. You can add another location. We just call this one Caravan Three Store Three. That simple. Now here is this is a various um, storage racks where 
the items have been kept so we have um, the list of them here where we'll store our items so we can just add one more say um, store two slash Once you are done here, then your setup is ready to go. This is the basic direct entry setup you need to do on this system once you get this system to start working. Now go back to um, the user interface. Now you can enter your suppliers. So let us go ahead and enter a supplier name. We'll call this Marine Logistics. Suppliers, contact name Chike Orima, contact phone number post all right now on this other tab you enter the asset details which asset are you going to maintain with your inventory items if there are no items to maintain just leave them the way they are but if there are items to be maintained you need to go ahead and gain those items so I'll just come back here I'll just put uh, Toyota Loss. Vehicle. We come to your top. Now, depending on the nature of um, your reporting system or how you intend to track your invent your inventory and track your assets. Now this um, form can be customized to suit exactly what you want to achieve. We've just put on the engine number here, um, just putting something you know, to and putting asset tracking number. We also call this motor vehicle slash um, deep marine slash or something like that. But it depends on what you um, how you report to your management and how your fixed assets are, are tracked or how the numbers are, are um, set up to, for notifications that will uh, enable us to customize exactly what you want and how you want to be reported because this um, um, particular form can be used to set up a reporting system to track inventory to track assets and to track the location just put location here just put on there Okay. Now, here we also enter product categories. Now, what you must know is that this system does not um, consider customers because um, it's not designed to um, sell the product. It's designed to um, buy the product and use them to maintain um, either a particular asset or for usage in the user departments like HSC, the hand gloves, the um, helmets, as the die hats. And the rest of them so it's not designed to have a customer the customers here are the various departments that are using these um, inventory items or the various assets that these items we use to maintain so you would want to um, think of um, adding a customer in this um, template it's designed for um, inventories that are used that are bought by a company to be used to maintain other assets or to be used by um, staff of the company for the operations. Now, this um, category panel um, just simple shows you 
enables you to enter different categories of the inventory you're going to buy. So I already have um, inventory categories on this um, system. So I just go ahead and enter an, um, an awkward category to enable you to yeah, you can see how it works. I'm using the marine company to explain. So the categories I may have here would be construction, engine, HSC, and the rest of them. But I'm going to use something that is different from marine so you can see how the category will work. So let's go ahead and let's put snacks. You can see that um, it works perfectly fine. The category. Then product brand just enable you to key in the product maker. For example, I have inventories like oil filter, air filter, um, engine box, gearbox, die hard, and the rest of them. Then who are the makers? What is the brand okay, of that particular inventory item? Let's put McDonald. Once you're done with that, you go to the product list. This is um, where you key in the inventory items, not receiving the inventory. This is setup. For example, you um, receive a new inventory item into your um, store. Now, before you post in the quantity received, you have to enter that inventory item if it is not already existing in your warehouse. Okay, or in your stock list, you need to just um, bring it up. So I have a new inventory item. As usual, I'll use an awkward uh, item that is not a marine list uh, to explain how it works for you. So we'll uh, put in the part number. You can use a barcode if it's um, something that does not have to do with parts. Okay, and just type in the number or scan the number into the particular um, box box here. Let us this is just this number of this. I'll uh, call this ham burger just to explain product maker i see mcdonald's already appearing here mcdonald's category we have construction tech tools machine and engine we have snacks okay so location i just say caravan store three storage package the last one remarks i just say um for entertaining store stuff measurement you need could be in packets could be in pieces could be in cartons okay i just put pieces then your other level means at what level do we um, want to um, order for new items to be brought into the store okay i want once the burger is uh, is around 50 I want to place another order. Then you set your order level. So you could, it could be for any particular uh, machine part or for any particular oil filter, air filter. Want it five? Want it ten? I want you to, to place order so that I can restock to avoid having shortage when the need arises. So you need to set up your order level at this point. Post. Right. So with that, you are good to go. Okay, you are good to go um, and start entering your data and start using your um, interface. All right. Okay. So this is um, where I'll stop these tutorials for now. I will come back in the part two to look at how you can um, enter your records and also view various reports. Also look at the setup for the users that are using this interface. Thank you and God bless.